Today we are going to, why do you say this thing? Bus Busena. Busena Marine Park. But first we're going to try not to get run over by this guy. This is next to a resort and it has an underwater observatory which we're going to check out today. And here comes the shuttle bus that we missed. That's set up to look like a train. Our family likes to walk it because we're into the outdoors and exercise. Over there is the underwater observatory. Wow, look, I just can't get over how blue and clear that water is. Right now we are going on the glass bottom boat. You can already see fishies down there. We're the only Americans here. It's okay though, we'll represent. Representing Florida, I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Good thing. Almost there. Anticipation is killing me. I hope OSHA has inspected all of these boats and they're all safe. All right, looking forward to show little buddy the glass bottom boat. We're gonna buy some fish food on board. Moving on. Our boat looks like a whale. It's a whale. Nice. Look, whale fin. You're allowed to feed the fish. It's about two bucks for a, a thing of food, and you throw it over the side of the boat, and the fish come and they grab it. But you can actually see them running towards the food, looking through the glass bottom, which I think is very, very cool. Head out to the observatory, which is kind of a kind of a walk. But then you got to. There's no elevators, you gotta go downstairs to this in this tube. It reminds me of the Jaws 3 movie where everything was underwater. It's way over there. That's where we're headed. If you wanna come out here, it's gonna be about 20 bucks for a combo ticket that'll get you both the glass bottom boat and the observatory. And kids are half price. So for like a family of three, it was about, given the exchange rate, it's probably about 40 bucks. Yeah, 40 bucks. Yeah, look at the fish. So this is actually about 45 minutes north of Naha. It's a really great value if you're just coming out with your kids and your family to check it out. Now from the glass bottom boat, it's a short ride. Short ride, it's a short walk actually. I meant to say walk. Short walk to what looks to be, like I said, I haven't been down in it yet but it looks to be just like a cylinder, a uh, stairwell, circular stairwell that you walk down. All right, heading down the stairs. So when you walk down to the bottom of the stairs, which is the stairs, it's basically a, a circle, a cylinder. We're about three meters down, and I can only tell you that because of... And there's these observation portholes where you can see fish. Where? Where's there a fish? Mm. Fish in there? Look, look up! Look up! Oh yeah, I see there's a yellow one. It is a tight squeeze. I've got a backpack with... Uh, camera gear in it. Probably should have rethought that, but it is really interesting to be underwater, especially in a tropical place that I'm not used to being at. back up to the surface after being below the sea. Four meters below the sea. Look at that. So how long are you gonna spend here? If you're coming from Naha or one of the bases, it's gonna be about 40 minutes to get here. You'll spend about maybe 30, 40 minutes with the glass bottom boat if you wanna go out another time and kind of like walk around. Then you'll go to the observatory and probably spend another half hour, 45 minutes. It's an afternoon, it's not a whole day unless you're staying at one of these resorts. So that's what I suggest. If you're coming out here, definitely make it a day. Come out here first, get all this out of the way, which is cool, and then hit the beach. There's plenty of restaurants around here. Make it a day and have fun. 
You never know what you're gonna find in a parking lot in Japan. Japan is kind of awesome.